Grown reefer. Department of Homeland Security memo first reported by the Daily Caller received as a part of the Freedom of Information Act request said that more than 270 unlicensed cannabis cultivation sites in Maine were operated by Chinese nationals. Who the fuck you think you're dealing with Joy wow. Bananas? <laughs> 275 <coughs> grow ops in Maine. <coughs> and the weed is on fire up there in New Hampshire. Is it? No, they say that's the best weed right now, New Hampshire. Really? New Hampshire? Somewhere up there. New Hampshire, Maine. Maine. They say the weed is so fucking strong. Hmm. Hmm. See that? Look at that. Yeah, they're growing fucking So reaper. what is the legalization of weed in Maine? Is it legal there? I'm not sure, brother. It's yeah. legal in so many states yeah, now. Yeah. Maine, New Hampshire, I think. How much cannabis can I possess? Adults 21 years of age or older can possess up to 2.5 ounces of a combination of cannabis, cannabis concentrate, and cannabis products, including no more than 5 grams of cannabis concentrate. How many plants can I grow? Mainers can grow cannabis for personal use. That's reasonable. Is that your phone? No. Something's ringing. That's you, bro. <laughs> it's ringing like a phone phone. <laughs> you get the old school ring on there. Holy you shit. pick that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Jersey's buck wild, right? What do you mean? With weed. I just started going to weed stores in January. I said, you know what? I got, I'm got. i done with laughing gas. I got to expand my horizon and see what's out there. And the first one I went to was in Neptune. And they're pretty impressive. It's big fucking joint. I forget the name of it. It was pretty impressive. Second place I went to is 15 minutes from my house, Joe, right by the doctor's office in Freehold. Holy shit. And that's when I discovered rhythm. Because I was like, listen, I'm here to see the devil. <laughs> I don't want to know that Jersey fucking swank. Look. You know? And it's everything's in containers. It's completely different, mm -hmm. you know? And they got, I got this rhythm, 36%. Jesus. And I'm like, this is me, this dog. From the, for the <clears throat> I guess this is, what is this? Affidavit for probable cause. Read. From where? From the, the China, the Chinese thing and uh, the Chinese immigrants in Maine. It says, we are in prison. Please, please come and save us. We are here. It gives the address. Uh, no cell phones. We were abducted from China. Passports were confiscated. The boss is a woman, five foot two, about forty-five years old. No means of transportation. The manager is Asian, black hair, five foot six. A lot of marijuana is grown on the first floor. A lot of finished products. No escape from the house. Only work, but no salary. I want to leave here. We tried to escape but failed. We were beaten. Please come and save us. Whoa. Fuck. So they got slaves working, making the weed. Mm -hmm. In Maine. Yeah, Shanghai. Yeah. Yeah. And that shit's yeah. strong. That's the shit that the Boeing mechanics are smoking. Isn't that crazy that there's, fucking crazy. there's slaves in America right now growing weed for China? Let's see where this is going to go. <sighs> it's fucking interesting. That's crazy. I saw this a couple of weeks ago. I read the article. I'm like, oh. And then that guy said it on your podcast. And I'm like. Well, he said about farmland. Yeah. Farmland. But I, I didn't know it was uh, happening like the that. The fuck you think they're doing? Growing fucking bean sprouts or soy sprouts? They're going for it, Jack. Well, they're controlling farmland. It's around military bases. That's and, what's scary. And a, and a lot of Chinese were coming through the border with these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, military age. A lot of Chinese, yeah. so let's see where this hand is getting played. Not only a lot of Chinese, but they have Chinese stops where you can go and everybody speaks Chinese along the way, and they have a Chinese restaurant, everything's written in Chinese, Chinese signs everywhere. So they have like a very specific organized route to get to America. And these guys are all young, fit guys coming to America. Like, what are you doing? Like, what the fuck is going on here? We're just basically sitting ducks. We're waiting. Yeah, we're sitting ducks. And there was a big warning today. Um, Homeland Security is warning about terrorist attacks in America. That's what scares me about this fucking election, too. I'm not, I'm not saying that they would do this, but I'm not, I definitely think they have in the past. Like, allowed things to happen just so that they can tighten up on restrictions and laws and scare people more and get people to vote one way or another. 
we're scary shit. At, we're looking at weird times, my friend. The weirdest, right? The fucking weirdest. And ever in your life, could you ever imagine things be so bizarre as they are right now? They've been bizarre for about five years now, where you just can't believe the shit you're hearing, and you just yeah. say, you know what, I'm going to stick to my camp. I'm good here. It was bizarre in 2017, but it wasn't bizarre like now. No. This, this is, is something different. This is insane. Diddy getting arrested. I mean, Did, just, just everything. Everything. Just a bridge getting hit. Yeah. It's something every fucking week. Every day. You know, Trump, 480 million. Yeah. You know, they need it by Monday. I mean, it's just <laughs> fucking... I thought Mark Cuban would bail him out. I didn't know who the fuck was going to bail him out. Yeah, how does that work? I think they knocked it down to $175 billion. They asked him, how's he going to pay it? He goes, cash. And now he's worth six point something billion because of the yeah. social deal. Right. It's all stock, I guess. Right. The, the whole thing, I'm not a financial guy, obviously, but I think it, the whole thing is liquidity. How much money are you, do you actually have coming in? How much is it tied up in real estate investments and holdings? And Trump's got buildings and hotels and resorts. And it's a lot, a lot going on. How the fuck can he pay attention to all that shit? Can you imagine running some kind of a business empire, trying to pay attention to everything? Dog, I met him when he was fucking at a football team. Really? Yeah, he owned the fucking Generals. That's how I knew Herschel Walker and those people. That's how I met those dudes. When was this? Fucking 85. Trump you, you only met Trump. Trump in 85? A long time ago. What was he like in 85? Hello, goodbye. I don't fucking know. It's not like we hung out. Mm. I was scared of him. 